Grand Rising. Welcome to the channel Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Why? Because we went through so many trials and tribulations, we are not trying to continue to be caught up in the rat race. Now let's talk about the rat race. How many of y'all heard of the rat race and know what the rat race is? Well, the rat race is this, where one man loans you money and continue to loan you money to buy a house, a car, a boat, a business, just keep you in debt to think about chasing money to pay it. See, that's a rat race. A rat race is a race of people that minds set is only on how much money I can snatch up to see if I can pay my bills because I'm not trying to work hard enough and secure my life. See, a rat race. You see what rats race after? Rats race after what their neighbors got. See, that's a rat race. You see something your neighbor got, you can't accomplish it. So now you want to go over there when the neighbor ain't at home, or when you see that you want to do the snake slivering in there like a rat, dig little holes in there, so you can snatch crumbs and run home. That's part of a rat race. See, you are a rodent. If you wake up in the morning and you think of what y'all call plays to make on people, that's what rodents, roaches, and rats do. That's the gutter bottom feeders. See, they feed off of the crumbs that the wealthy get. See, I'm not rich. I'm healthy and wealthy. See, I have an abundance of wealth, which comes with health. How do you have abundance of health? Only healed people can heal people. Hurt people hurt people. So if you have thoughts, words, thoughts, ideals that hurt people, you could never heal a person. But if your words, actions, and deeds is that of unconditional love, you release the melatonin that opens up the gates to eternal happiness and eternal life. Don't get caught in the rat race, racing with the rats. Run. See, the rats going to go in one path. Take the other trail. Go where there's no path and leave a trail. Do what Hansel and Gretel did and hope the breadcrumbs get eaten so you won't know your way back. See, if you don't find your way back, you have no choice but to keep going forward. You feel me? So don't sugarcoat your words, your actions or your deeds for the sake of reputation or fame to fit in a place where you shouldn't be in the first place. Don't force yourself somewhere where it don't fit. By all means, if you meet a person and you greet a person and they say, this is not what I want, there's no need for you to take any further action in that direction. See, that's when you use your military skills and say, salute and about face. Forward march. See, 
When you walk in, in a certain light of likeness, see, that light is of likeness of love. When the people that see that likeness will gravitate to that likeness because this is the all in all of love selectively and collecting itself together. See, disasters, a hurricane and a tornado do not just make disasters. It paves the way for something greater to be built. See, when that tornado come, a lot of times it's a tornado of a loving spirit collectively to tear down all the garbage and all the trash and get it out the way and rebuild. See, when a tornado hits something, it's saying this shit is so bad. That mother nature got to come in and tear this shit down so it can be rebuilt. See, nature has a way of fixing itself. It doesn't need man to steer its course. Because nature steers the course of man. And when man stays in nature, he'll stay on his course. Know the course that you're supposed to take. Quit being a rodent and a rat. Be an honorable person. A person of words, actions, and deeds that demonstrate dignity, honor, loyalty, respect, and truth. If you cannot do that, you do not have one inkling of the spirit of a benevolent person, of the gods, of that spirit of raising to a higher state of consciousness. You will be stuck in that sunken place where you can't get out. And that's in your lowest lows. I'm out.